Welcome to this step-by-step -step guide to binary addition. Now we're going to get started by going through some fairly basic um, exercises just to start with. So the first one is that we're going to add up uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, which is 2, with 0, 1, 0, 0, which is 4. So as we all know, 2 plus 4 should give us the answer 6. So let's have a go at this. If I take 0 plus 0, um, that gives us 0 as the result. If I take 1 plus 0, I get a 1. If I take a 0 plus 1, I get another 1. And 0 plus 0 is 0. So, if I put my little column headers in here, it can be quite helpful. This is my 1 column 2, 4, 8. If I now want to uh, work out what the value of this result is, I can look at that and say, well, I've got uh, nothing in my 8s. I've got something in my 4, so I'll do a 4. I've got a 1 in my 2, so add a 2. I've got nothing in my 1s column. So I just need 4 plus 2 is 6. So indeed, this answer here, that is 6. We're going to just up the ante a little bit now and look at a slightly larger number. Now this number is going to involve a bit of carrying. So uh, just to remind you what I mean by carrying, let's look at just a, a, a straightforward deanery example. Let's look at something like 18 plus 23. Now when we add 8 plus 3, the answer is 11. But 11 can't fit in this box because we can only put one number in each of the uh, columns. So we know that 8 plus 3 equals 11. So we write this as a 1 carrier 1. And then when we do 1 plus 2, that's 3 plus the carry is 4. So we know that 18 plus 23 is equal to 41. Now that isn't too complicated. We've, most of us learned that in primary school. That's how we do standard column addition. When we run out of space in a column, we have to carry over um, the rest of the answer, as it were, to the next column. So we're going to do exactly the same thing now in the context of a binary addition. So let's have a look at this. Um, 1 or 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Now that's going to give us one of our first rules, because of course in binary, we don't write 2, we write it as 1, 0. But we can only put one value in this little box. So which is it going to be? Is it going to be the 1 or the 0? Well, actually, the one that we put in that little box is the 0, and we carry 1. So that's a new rule, so we can write that down. So when we get 1 plus 1, it's 0, carry 1. Okay, let's carry on. 0 plus 1 is 1, plus the carry. So now we've got 0 plus 1 plus 1. Well, 1 plus 1 is 2, isn't it? So that's going to be another 0, carry 1. Now I've got 1 plus 1 plus 1. Well, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, which in binary we write as that uh, as 1 and 1, which is 1, carry 1. So in this case, we need to put a 1, carry 1. Now I've got a 0 plus 0 is nothing, plus the carry, 0 plus 1 is 1. Uh, 0 plus 0, no carries, so that's just 0, 0, and 0. So, Let's just double check our answer. We know that we've got uh, that first line was the equivalent of 10, that second line was the equivalent of 15, so we're expecting an answer of 25. So have we indeed got 25? Let's have a little check. Uh, if I put my column headers in, it will help me out. So it's my 1 column, 2 column, 4's column, 8's column, 16's column, 32's column, 64's column, and 128's column. So let's have a look at what we've got here. Uh, we've got no 128s, we've got no 64s, we've got no 32s. We do have a 16, so let's add that, 16. 
Um, we have an 8, so 16 plus an 8. We have no 4s, no 2s, and we do have a 1 plus 1. Well, 16 plus 8 is 24, plus 1 is 25. So we have indeed got the right answer. So let's look now at a um, slightly more complex example. So in this example, we're adding up 78 to 186. And um, let's just apply the exact same rules that we used before. So let's just remind ourselves of our rules. Well, if you've got 0 plus 0, that's fine. That's just a 0. A 0 plus a 1 is just a 1. Um, 1 plus 1 is a 0. Carry 1. Otherwise known as 1, 0. And 1 plus 1 plus, if we've already got a carry 1, is 3, which we represent as 1 carry 1, or 1, 1 in binary. So those are our rules that we need to apply. So let's do that. 0 plus 0, 0. 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1, so 0 carry 1. Um, 1 plus 0 is 1, plus the carry is 1 plus 1, which is another 0 carry 1. Okay, now I've got another 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, and that's 1 carry 1, 1 carry 1. 0 plus 1 plus 1 is 1 plus 1 which is 2, which is 0, carry 1. We've got this again, 0 plus 1 plus 1 is 2, which is 0, carry 1. Now I've got a 1 plus 0 plus 1, which is again is still 1 plus 1, which is 2, so that's 0, carry 1. And now finally I've got another 0 plus 1, which is a 1, plus 1, which is a 0, carry 1. Now, we've got a little problem here um, because we only have, if I put a little line here, we only have 8 bits for our binary number. And all of a sudden now, I have a ninth bit. Um, this is what we call an overflow error. And an overflow error occurs when the result of an addition is bigger or has more bits than the system can represent. Now there's a few different things we could do about this. Uh, one is that we could inside the computer maybe raise a little flag or um, a memory bit somewhere. We could set it to on to say, hey, this extra carry bit has come along. And uh, that means that whatever you think this result is, it's not actually going to be accurate. And then the computer could maybe break the problem down into two smaller operations and sort of combine the results together. That's one way of dealing with it. Another way of dealing with it is just to uh, say, well, I'll just discard that extra bit. I can't fit it anywhere, so I'll just lose it. The problem with that is that if we look at the result of our addition, that actually equates to 8. Um, and as we know, 78 plus 186 is not 8. That is an error, or we might say a loss of accuracy which is one of the problems that comes from overflow errors. So either we can just discard that extra bit and we lose accuracy in our answers, or we have to put some sort of flag um, inside the computer, which is like a, a, a single bit of memory that's either set to a zero or a one to say whether or not this overflow error has occurred. And if it has, then the computer or the operating system can decide, right, I need to do something else to make sure I get an accurate answer here. So there you go, that's a bit of binary addition. Um, it is pretty straightforward. It just follows the same column addition rules uh, that we all know uh, when we're adding up numbers in base 10. Um, you just got to remember these little carry rules. If you can remember those, then you should be absolutely fine. And also just remember that if we end up with too many bits in the answer, then we get one of these overflow errors. And we need to be able to recognize when that happens and also say 
well, what is the consequence of that and what can the computer do um, about it?